Reunited at Christmas is actually a little bit different to most Hallmark films because usually a Hallmark Christmas film is all about two people finding each other and falling in love. It's the blueprint to the Hallmark Christmas narrative. But with Reunited at Christmas, it actually starts with a couple who are already together and some difficulties that they face as a couple over the holidays. So I won't give you any spoilers, but um, I will go into a little bit, bit of detail about the things that I liked and did not like if there was anything. I don't really think there wasn't anything that I didn't like. And I was actually really quite impressed with the development of the narrative because I thought it could be really cliche and really unbelievable. But I think it worked well. So this was released in 2018. It's directed by Stephen R. Munro and written by David Golden and Marcy Holland. And the description from IMDb is as follows. Frazzled and struggling with writer's block, novelist Samantha, along with her boyfriend, head to, heads to, heads home, I, I can't speak, I apologise, heads home to her late grandmother's home to spend Christmas with the whole family. So her grandmother's deceased, it's not in, uh, a recent thing, but she passed away and in her will one of the things that she specified was that she'd like her entire family to come together. So it's her, so it's Samantha and her boyfriend Simon, then her sister and her partner and then their parents and their parents are actually divorced already and that causes a tiny bit of tension in the house maybe not a massive amount and um, but enough to kind of make this not just a typical sweet family reunion there is a little bit of um, angst and kind of acrimonious attitude happening and I won't tell you what the conflict is between Samantha and Simon. I won't give it away. But obviously because they start as a couple, in order for this to kind of have the same feel as a Hallmark film, they have to go through some kind of difficulty and then they get to learn the true meaning of Christmas and then kind of the true meaning of love off of the back of that. And once we get over the initial conflict it kind of starts to feel a lot more like a traditional Hallmark Christmas film. Nikki Deloach plays Samantha and Mike Fiola plays Simon. I think they have great on-screen chemistry. I think they really work. They visually look very good as a couple. And while that's not the most important aspect of a film, it, it, I think it does play kind of a, a big part in giving us a more honest portrayal. We have... The house as well, which I kind of feel like is a character in its own entity because we get to see a little flashback from when Samantha was a little girl and the time she spent in the house. And then obviously we get to spend a lot of time in the house itself. And it's beautiful. It's a very nice house. I would have liked to have seen more of the exterior in like wide shots or even just more of the family spending time outdoors as a, as a unit. But for the most part, we do get to see a good amount of the house to feel like that that we are there. So what are the problems? Well, I don't really feel like there are any problems for me, personally. I'm not going to say it's the best film. It's not the best Christmas film. But I liked it. I liked the fact that it strayed slightly from the Hallmark blueprint and already gave us a couple who were together. I'm not saying it's the only Hallmark like that, but certainly... It's um it's less common. The family unit had enough difficulties that it wasn't sickeningly sweet, but I think they still worked well on screen and were really engaging. The things they did at the house made it really Christmassy because her nana had left her a wish list of things that they had to do for Christmas, things like baking cookies, going ice skating. So as they work their way through this list, we as viewers get to enjoy all of these different Christmas things building up to the big day. Samantha being a writer is something obviously I really enjoyed. What really irritated me, and this is so petty, she indented the first paragraph in her first chapter, and you don't do that. You don't indent the first paragraph of a chapter. Really small, minor irritation, but I feel like somebody should have picked up on that. But you know, if if that's the worst thing about the film, then Reunited at Christmas is doing pretty well. And honestly, I think it's worth the watch. 